Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Gavin Nasty here with you again. And recently, I've been getting some good luck when it comes to the supply drops. Now, I had two supply drops in a row where I got some awesome elite weapons and I wanted to show you the show them to you. So we got the KF5 spanner and the SN6 the 3rd for you guys. And I'll split it up into two videos. I'll this video will be talking about the SN6 the 3rd and then I will give you guys my opinion on the KF5 spanner. So in terms of stat changes for the SN6 the third, first off we have a plus one on the damage which I think it helps out a lot considering it's an SMG and it has a little bit like not as hard hitting but the SMGs are still good at close range regardless. And then that leads into our second upgrade which we have plus two in range which I think helps out a lot because the SN6 doesn't really have the greatest range so the damage drop off is really really high. So that definitely helps out a lot. And lastly, we have a minus three in mobility. Now, the SMGs already have really good mobility. So minus three doesn't really affect it all that much. But since you're losing three mobility, that still kind of is a lot to at once. So if you're used to running around with the SN6 normally, you'll definitely notice a pretty big difference on the mobility side of it. But overall, I think this elite weapon or variant of the SN6 drastically makes this so much of a better weapon like I was using just you know the regular I wouldn't really use it all that much because it, it there are just way better weapons in it like the KF5 and especially the ASM1 but when you're using this elite version it definitely makes it a contender in using it over a different weapon I, I like this gun a lot and it makes the SN6 so underrated if you get the third because it's just such an a good such a good elite weapon and it drastically improves it over the base version. I think this gun is actually really fun to use now. Um, like I said, it's just way better with the variant versus just the standard. So if you can somehow get your hands on the SN6 the third, I would highly recommend that you give this gun a chance. It is really really good and it just honestly just freaking melts people at close range and even up to like medium range it does very well and that's why i said it can compete with guns such as the asm1 with this elite version because it's just unbelievable how much better it makes the sn6 some things to know with the sn6 just overall and basically how i would run this gun a lot of the times i would use a grip definitely because it has a lot of like side to side recoil and just kind of overall a lot of recoil so I like to manage that with a grip and then I I like using extended mags a lot I felt a lot of times that I would be shooting like one or two people and I would just because like sometimes the accuracy was so sketchy that I would run through a lot of ammo really fast and definitely burn through my clips so I like putting extended mags on there and it would give you like 46 to 48 rounds I can't exactly remember but it gives you a good amount and you can drop maybe three to four people versus your like two and if, if you use a standard clip and also I did use a silencer I guess it kind of plays against the the improvement of the range on the variant of the the third but at the same time it's kind of like a wash it's like you're not really negatively affecting it because if you use the standard version and you put a silencer you would be negatively impacting your gun but if you're using it on the SN6, it's kind of like a wash. It's like if you were just using it without a silencer in the first place. So I definitely like using a silencer on there. Plus, you get to stay off the minimap. So many uh, good reasons why to use the silencer. And I just feel like you can overall, in general, extend your life in Call of Duty if you're using a, a silencer because there's less people looking for you and noticing you. But yeah, definitely recommend putting the silencer on. I did kind of mess around in the game modes, kind of trying different game modes with this gun, but I think one of the best game modes to stick to it would be hardpoint, just because everybody's going to one focus spot, and this is a very good close quarters gun, so everybody is going to like a small area, and you just do a way better job at killing people versus range. Like I was playing some free for all, and I did okay or team deathmatch and stuff, but anything, anytime there's not like one objective that you have to go to. It's, it makes this gun a little bit harder to use just because the range is so, it's just not so good because it's a submachine gun and the damage drop off is a lot. So you'll be getting a lot of hit markers at like longer-ish medium ranges and stuff. So definitely go play some hard point, momentum, even kind of domination. But I would still be careful just because you want to stick, as 
get to as close to the enemy as you can in hard point and momentum those are great game modes that do that very well for you so just try to stick to those also, before I forget to mention, one of the things that makes this gun also so, so sick and one of the reasons why I like it more than some of the other uh, elite weapons is just how the gun looks itself. It is like, it's a wood gun. It looks so fucking sick and I just, honestly, I think that looks so cool to me. It's like so old. It has like, you know, some like n nice metal parts on there, but for the most part, the gun is just like straight wood. It's got like a really old school, cool looking like kind of takes it back a little bit from the advanced warfare kind of futuristic scene and then when you just get like throw a wood gun in there I don't know personally for me I just think it looks cool and I would like to see if if uh, advanced warfare or maybe some other cod they can add like a wood camo because that would be so cool if like run around with just straight wood guns I don't know that's just me now unfortunately you can't get this gun through like the extra prestige system I know since they added now there's 30 prestiges so 16 through 30 each prestige you unlock a different elite weapon and like I said unfortunately you cannot get the SN6 the third that way so you would just have to kind of be lucky to get it it is a really good gun and if you like I said before if you if you do get it give it a try I think that you'll be very pleased and you won't be disappointed but other than that that's all I have for you guys today and um, shortly I'll be coming out with the KF5 spanner review and uh, Battlefield's just around, Battlefield Hardline's just around the corner, so be uh, ready to see some, some gameplay from uh, Battlefield Hardline. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment what you guys want to see next, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.